And so let's consider three of the spiritual differences that we experience if Christ had not come. And then I'm in my seat, and we can go and find something to eat. Praise the Lord. First, if Christ had not come, we may never know God's character. The children of Narnia, in the Narnia story, they're with, and they go to, they go, the family they end up with in the country are, are the Beaver family, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. Uh, and the, it's the first time they hear the name Aslan. Aslan, Mr. Beaver tells them, will soon change, or excuse me, Narnia will soon change because uh, Mr. Beaver says Aslan is on the move. When they hear Aslan's name, these four children first mentioned, even though they don't know who he is, each child feels something a stir inside. Peter feels brave and heroic. Susan feels like she's just smelled something delicious or, or, or she's just heard a beautiful uh, melody of music. Lucy feels like it's a holiday or the first days of summer have Begun, but Edmund, Come on. Come on. We, we find out who's uh, identified as a traitor, feels a stab of horror. Uh -uh. Aslan's name touches off a response in each person. With some, his name evokes joy, and with others, his name causes others to shrink back in fear. Yeah. Lucy says, is, is, is it a man? Aslan, a man, said Mr. Beaver, certainly not. Don't you know who the king of the beasts is? Aslan is a lion, the lion, the great lion. Susan responds, he said, well, uh, is he safe? Uh, should I feel nervous about meeting a lion? And Mr. Beaver says, safe? Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe. He's a lion. But he is good. Watch this. John 1 and John 3 and 16 inform us, the first chapter of John, that Jesus' incarnation as a human was made plain, and it made plain God's character. John 1 and 18 reminds us that no one has ever seen God at any time. And the Bible says that our God is of such immensity Come on. that the whole universe could not contain him. Hallelujah. It tells he is so holy that our sinful eyes could never look on him. Hallelujah. But in uh, John 1 and 18, we learn, though no one has ever seen God, the only begotten of the Father, the one who is full of grace and truth, has revealed him. John wrote, through Moses, the law came. But in Jesus, God's grace and truth become known to the world. God's character is declared by Jesus in John 3 and 16. I know y'all thought that they just hold them signs up at the, at the football games and that don't really. It, it, that one verse declares to us the character of God. And we find it out right in the first few words. For God so loved. I just loved it. It didn't even say for God love, But God so loved the world that he gave. That's how the son describes the father's burden. That, that the depth and strength and magnitude of the father's love is, is contained in that uh, a description. God so loved the world, the world and the human beings that live in it, that he created, the sons of Adam and the daughters of Eve, the ones who chose against him and therefore the world uh, uh, in was in, is, is in rebellion against him. And the world is under Satan's grip just as Narnia was under the evil grips of the white witch. Our world is locked up in sin like the stony cold prison of Narnia. But God so loved the world. Jesus coming reveals the character attribute of God that makes all the difference for you and for me. In Ephesians, the Apostle Paul tells us that God is rich in mercy. That, that means, family, that God 
uh, was not at all content to just leave us in our miserable condition. God so loved the world. The, the father's heart of, of love moved him to act. And if it were not for Christ coming at that very first Christmas, we'd never know God's character. Amen. Amen. But family, we'd also never encounter God's son. I don't want to spoil the story for those of you who haven't read it, but I told you before uh, or seen the movie, if you, if you haven't done it now, I, that's, I, I, we passed the limits of, 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 of what? Grace. Of grace. That's so nice how you, that's a, of the limits of grace. The great